you know, I just make a wrestling related video. The last one, I talk about how wrestling is really depressing and shit. I just talk a bunch. And now we have this. Brian Danielson retiring. I don't know what else to say, so let's just listen to what the guy has to say. Like a like another ROH alum basically retires. N Nigel McGinnis and now Brian Danielson. I'm gonna get emotional during this. Fuck. I never did like those no 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 chants or the yes 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 chants. I found them to be Trust me, really I really don't boring. Want to be doing this any more than, than you guys want me to be doing this, but uh, the truth is, I've been wrestling since I was 18 years old. And within the first five months of my wrestling career, I had already had three concussions. That's quite a lot. And uh, for years after that, I would get a concussion here and there, or here or there. And then it gets to the point when you've been wrestling for 16 years that um, that adds up to a lot of concussions. And uh, it gets to a point where they tell you that you can't wrestle anymore. And for a long time, I fought that um, because I had gotten EEGs and brain MRIs and neuropsychological evaluations, and all of them said this, that I was fine and that I could come back and I could wrestle and I trained like I would come back and I would wrestle and I was ready at a moment's notice if WWE needed me I wanted to come back and wrestle it's Brian Danielson of all people why wouldn't you get emotional because fuck every time anybody retires it's emotional I have loved this except for Mark Henry I have never loved anything it's like I never really liked Mark Henry his retirement speech was I didn't really care Can we at least get somebody saying Brian or something? Thank you, Brian. But whatever, it's the WWE PG, WWE PG era. But a week and a half ago, I um, I took a test that said that maybe my brain isn't uh, as okay as I thought it was, and. I have a family to think about, and my wife and I want to start having kids soon. That's what Bree says all the time. <laughs> oh, way to go out with this. Laugh. <laughs> Leave him laughing. Leave him lying, Brian. Leave him laughing. <laughs> So, it is with a heavier heart and the utmost sadness that I officially announced my retirement.
We're not going to pull a Ric Flair, are they? Where like everybody just comes out so and just I makes them. Because if that shit happens, like where everybody comes out, I'm going to fucking cry my ass off. You know what I'm talking about, the Ric Flair retirement speech. I felt nothing but gratitude. Because I have gotten to do what I love for nearly 16 years. Let me tell you a few of the things that I love. Okay, let me tell you a few of the things that I love. Nobody outside this arena or this city cares about this, but I love the Seahawks. thing that I love. Uh, here's another thing that I love. Right before my music hits, and it makes that weird sound right before it comes on, and when you guys react every single time, even if I'm tired as hell or I've been hurting every time, I get this weird little smirk on my face that's not like, but it just, it brings joy to my heart, and I, I love it every single time. Do you, do you know what else that I love? I love hitting the ropes and diving right here. <laughs> it has made me feel like Superman. And your guys' reaction to that made me feel like Superman. I love that. Here's another thing that I love. Here's another thing that I love. I have wrestled in the parking lots of gas stations. And I have wrestled days. in front of 70 plus thousand people in New Orleans. Is he going to talk about Ring of Honor? Here's another thing that I love. I have gotten to meet the most amazing people on this planet. Such as somebody who looks like a monster, but is the smartest man I know, like Kane. Yeah. Kane is indeed the smart man. I He's a very a smart man guy. Who has been my mentor and my friend for over 16 years in William Regal. I have gotten to meet children that are stronger than I ever thought anybody could be, like Connor. Oh, we're mentioning Connor now. Shit. grateful because wrestling doesn't owe me or anybody back there it doesn't owe us anything WWE doesn't owe us anything nobody owes you guys don't owe us anything we do this because we love to do this and then it was strange because I did this because I love to do this and then all of a sudden, you guys just got behind me. In, in a way that I never thought was possible. In a way that fans shouldn't necessarily get behind a guy who's 5'8 and 190 pounds. 
but you're fucking amazing at it. You got behind me in a way that made me feel that I was more than just me. And for that, I'm, I'm grateful. I am grateful because a little over two years ago, in this very arena, you guys hijacked Raw. That was two years ago? Damn, years by. That went by quick. And they were trying to do a big championship coronation between Randy Orton and John Cena. They were combining, they were combining the WWE Championship with the World Heavyweight Championship. And they had all the former champions out here. And this was gonna be the most important match in WWE history. And you guys just wouldn't stop chanting, Daniel Bryan. That's, that's not why I'm grateful. Uh, my dad was sitting right over there where the guy with the goat mask with the Daniel Bryan sign is, is standing right now. And my dad got to see that. His, his son, getting that kind of reaction from all you people. And that was the last time my dad ever got to see me wrestle. And you guys made it special for him, and for me, and for my entire family. I am grateful. I am grateful because of wrestling, I got to meet the most wonderful woman in the world. who's beautiful, she's smart, and she completes me in a way that I didn't even think was possible. And that's because of wrestling. I am grateful. I am grateful because I get to come out here in front of what I feel is my hometown fans. I'm just dying inside. I get to announce my retirement in front of a bunch of people who love me, right? That special moment that I had with my dad, I get to share this moment with my mom. With my sister with my family, with my friends. I get to share that with them. I get to share it with you. I get to share it with my wife in the back. I get to share it with all these wonderful human beings that I have spent the last 15 years of my life with. I am grateful.
Now, tomorrow morning, uh, I start, I start a new life. A life where I am no longer a wrestler. But that is tomorrow, and that is not tonight. And by damn, I have one more night to feel this energy and to feel this crowd. So if I could just get one last yes chant, I would really appreciate it. Sure, why not? Fuck it, Leto. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. No, I gotta do this right, even though I hate doing this. Yes, 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 yes. You have an amazing career. Independence, Ring of Honor, WWE. He went out with he went out with class. Ladies and gentlemen, we all have one word for Daniel Bryan tonight. And that word is grateful. Grateful that we have the opportunity for him to come into our lives here in WWE. We invite you to join us, ladies and gentlemen, as the Daniel Bryan celebration continues on the WWE Network, followed by the new episode of Ride Along. It's only on the WWE Network, and it's live next. Well, he went out with class. He went out on his own terms. He retired on his own. Yeah, he has a bunch of concussions, but that's Brian Danielson for you. Like I said in my last video, wrestling related, I said it was like depressing to be a wrestling fan. Now this happens. I don't know, man. It's just getting too much. If Bobby Heenan won, if when Bobby Heenan dies, I'm gonna cry so fucking hard because that's where I got my name from him. I got my name from him because he says humanoids all the time. Go back and watch his stuff, but fuck, Bobby Heenan was the man. But anyway, Brian Danielson, amazing wrestler. Go watch his Ring of Honor stuff. Go watch his indie stuff. So to end this video, let's play his Ring of Honor theme. To go out with a goddamn bang. Let's do this. The final countdown is ROH theme.